Make it move. Okay, you have purpose, and that's telling a story. You're prepared. You have an idea about composition. You're paying attention to exposure. You're learning to keep still when needed. Now we need to add motion because that's what makes video video rather than just a series of still shots. Motion within a shot also affects how you feel about the shot and of course it makes it more interesting too. The most simple example of motion is just panning with a tripod. Lock your camera onto a tripod with a fluid head and pan. Pan across your subjects that are still or follow a moving subject. That's a simple example of movement with your camera. Here's another thing you can do, and that is to brace the extended tripod legs on your own legs for a unique overhead shot. Lock your camera onto your tripod and extend the legs part way out and now brace the legs of your tripod on yourself in a comfortable way so that you can extend the camera out above your head. You can get moving shots this way. Zoom out and use a wider shot because that's going to give you a more stable looking shot than would a zoomed in shot. Try different ways of moving the camera with the legs extended this way. Just be careful not to bump into anything or anybody. Here's another thing you can do with the tripod, and that is to extend the legs halfway out and balance the tripod on your hand and carefully walk with it. If you experiment with how you do this, you can get comfortable and get some good tracking shots that will give you some very nice results without having to spend thousands of dollars on an image stabilization system so that you can walk with your camera. When you are moving with the camera, you want to think of going from composition to composition because you're not just randomly moving along. You're either following a subject and maintaining a composition throughout, or you might start on a still shot and move until you reach another still shot and that can be used as a transition between situations or scenes. Those are two ways you can use your tripod for what it was not designed to do and get some unique moving shots. Now here's another way you can still use your tripod. Remove the top part of the tripod, the tripod head, and attach your camera to the tripod head. What you're going to do here is to create a brace for yourself and some lower center of gravity so that you can then move the camera using the tripod head without the legs. This allows you to walk with the tripod head and move the camera into tighter spaces that you can't get into with the full tripod. Try different ways of holding the camera and the tripod head and also try just holding the camera itself. You can hold the strap, you can hold underneath the camera. There's various things you can do to get movement and still have a stable shot. That's one of the keys to getting good moving shots, is to keep them from just being shaky random shots that you get from walking along with your hands extended. Now when someone sees your shots and asks, wow, what kind of camera do you have? You can say, hey, it's not the camera, it's the camera operator. Ways of moving your camera successfully are endless. Experiment with camera movement that goes beyond just swinging your arm or carelessly walking with your camera.